in this video i will show you how to set up a facebook ad campaign that direct to whatsapp we have several type of advert that you can run on facebook you can have traffic ad campaign you can, there are several of them but this one our focus is to run an advert that will direct to whatsapp and i'll take time to explain all the procedures in detail for you to understand so to do that you first of all need to log in to your facebook um you log into your facebook if you don't know how to log into facebook on a computer you just go and type facebook.com and then it will ask you to put your login details your number or email and the password of your facebook account and after that you've logged in now when you log in um you come to your left hand corner you will see ad manager so you click on the ad manager and it will bring you exactly to this interface when it comes to the interface when you have several ad accounts you can choose one normally it will bring you to your personal ad account when i say your personal ad account you will see the ad account that has your name so for example you can see your personal ad account like this okay so i was having i have two personal ad accounts one was deactivated to the new one so this is my current personal ad account so let's say i want to create an advert if i want to create the advert with this ad account, personal ad account that's fine but I want to create the advert with my business manager ad account and not the personal ad account. So you just come and click here and go down and select the business manager ad account. Okay. So this is it. I will leave a link in the description. I will leave a link in the description of this video so that you can follow it if you want to learn how to create a business manager advertising account you can check the link in the description of this video and then you'll be able to see that now to create an advert you click on create you click on create you scroll down and then we have the sales objective we have the lead objective we have the engagement we have the app promotion we have traffic, we have awareness, and then all that. Okay. So I will explain each of them in detail. Sales, the sales objective is used if your main reason for running that advert is to make um you want to direct people to your website to buy something. Like you have an e-commerce website where you want to direct people to that e-commerce website to buy something. We have the leads, and the leads is the one that you will want people to fill a form on Facebook and to submit their leads to you. So if you are interested in the leads objective or if you want to run an advert that will direct people to um, fill a form and submit to you, you can check the link. I will also leave this link in the description. If you also run an advert for conversions, conversion, you must have a website and that must be an e-commerce website. If you want to run that type of ad campaign, you can check the link in the description. Okay. Um, okay. So that is a conversion ad campaign. If you want to run an advert, that would direct to WhatsApp. So people will see it on Facebook and then they will send you a WhatsApp message or a message on Messenger. That one falls under engagement. App promotion that if you are promoting an app, that is the app promotion. If you want to run an advert that directs traffic to your website, traffic is not necessarily making sales. That means that you just want people to go to your website to check whatever you are doing on that website. And the last one, awareness. If you want to create awareness about a certain product, not necessarily sales, you want to create awareness, you can use awareness. Okay, so we are going to go with the engagement where we will go for messages. Remember engagement, we have post engagement. For post engagement, you are not going to get people contacting you, but we also have the messages option. So I'll explain each of them in detail when we get there. So you click on the engagement and it opens. Then from there, you can name your campaign. So let me see. Let's say I want to run an ad campaign for Facebook training, Facebook ads training. Okay. So Facebook ad training. Then you scroll down. We have campaign budget optimization strategy. And then this is a strategy that allows you 
to if you are going to have more asset in the advert and you you don't know which of the assets will perform well and you want to give facebook the option to share your budget among your ad sets the asset is more or less like you want to choose different set of audiences or different um pictures or videos for your advert and you want to see which of them will perform well so you can have different set of uh, ad set and then you can you can have the campaign budget optimization on but in this case I want to have only one asset, so I don't necessarily need to put the campaign budget optimization on because Facebook will spend all my money on that asset once I have only one. So I will leave the, that one off for now. Then you click next. So you come to the, this is actually the asset level. So under the asset level, they are asking where the conversion location will be. And the conversion location here is the messaging apps. So you choose messaging apps and you go down and you go to the messaging app and actually select the page then if you want the messages to be on message you come to your messenger you can choose the messenger but however i don't want people to contact me on messenger i want it to be on whatsapp so whether they are seeing me whether they are seeing the advert on instagram or on messenger they should whatsapp so in this case i'm choosing whatsapp so i don't need to select messenger or instagram okay this doesn't mean that your advert will not show on facebook or uh, messenger or instagram no this means that your advert can show on Instagram, it can show on Messenger, it can show on all platforms. But where the people will contact you will be when they see the advert, when they click, it will open directly to WhatsApp. They can still go and contact you on Instagram direct or Messenger. But from the advert, the direct contact method will be WhatsApp. That's what it exactly means. Okay, so you scroll down. If you want to connect to your Instagram account, this is where you will do that. You click on connect account and you follow the prompts to connect. Then you come down to the performance goal. You have performance. I want messages. So we have messaging conversations. So the performance goal is to maximize the number of conversations. Then you scroll down and select your daily budget. So let's say $55 is what I want to use for now. You can change it to whatever you want. We have daily and lifestyle budget. And I normally prefer the daily budget because the daily budget helps me to, um, you know, uh, if I want to spend am any amount per day and I can easily change it. So for example, I'm choosing $5 per day here. If another day I want to choose like $10 a day, I want to make it $7, I want to increase or decrease it. It is easy to do that once I choose a daily budget. Then you can come here and put an end date. Normally I choose one week for my for any new advert I'm going to do. So that after one week, I will be able to determine whether it's good or not. So my advert will end on 16. So on the 16th, I would rather put 17th and put 12 a.m., which means that on 17th, it won't run. It will run and end exactly up to 16th. So when it gets to 17th, 12 a.m., it will stop. Okay, so I'll scroll down. Then under audience, you can choose saved audience. If you have a saved audience, you can choose them. If you don't have saved audience, you can choose to create a new audience and save it. So the next time, if you are going to run an advert and direct to that same audience, we just need to um, select that audience. Okay, so when you come here, when you are creating a new audience, you come here and click on, you let it be under create new audience. Then you come, um, you may see detailed targeting expansion. In case you see detailed targeting expansion, you put it on. You may see a checkbox that you put it on. In this case, I am not seeing that option. So by default, they are saying you are reaching more people with advantage localized audience. So um, what they are telling me is that they are reaching out to more people and especially people who look similar to my previous audience. Now, if you click on um, age, you can adjust the age to show to people that you want. You can also come here and select detail targeting uh, terms. Then when I say detail targeting terms, I mean terms that relate to the product you're selling. That will help you to select people that are more interested in your advert and not just anybody. So after you make all those selections and you are done, you click on save audience. However, I am not going to save any new audience because I already have an old audience. So I'm going to look at the old audience that I already have. So I'm going to use Facebook ads greater Accra region. And let's see that audience so that audience when you scroll down you will see i have a lot of detailed targeting terms there and that audience the age is 28 to 55 the gender is all genders and when you come to the detailed targeting terms i have um, digital activity small business owners page admin administrators that is people who are already administrator of pages on facebook health and beauty pages 
retail advertising campaign, people who like affiliate marketing, uh, business marketing, and all that. There are more to it, but um, those are just a few of what I selected. If I want to add any, I will just come here and type a term. So let's say I want to add a term like marketing. I already selected most of them, but I just want to show you so you can see marketing communications, well, marketing agent, vector marketing, marketing agent, and all that. So people who are looking for these specialists, so like example, director of sales and marketing. So let's say I want to target someone who is looking for um, director. Okay, I guess. So people who are looking for a marketing agent to see this, people who are looking for um, something like marketing communication specialist, director of sales and marketing, they will, it's like people who are looking, those looking for people in those particular fields who see this advert. Yeah. So when I update, it will take effect. But for now, the advert is currently in review. And uh, I, it's active. If I update it, they'll put the advert in review and I don't want to put it in review for now. So I'll close it. But I would have just updated it or I can save it as a new audience. But that would be a duplicate. So for now, I don't want to save it. But if you don't have the same audience, follow this process, create the audience and update it or save it as a new audience. You just should have an audience that you can use to run the advert. Okay. So after that is done, you scroll down and go to the placement. For the placement, I normally choose manual and select what I want. If you choose automatic, automatic placement means that Facebook should, should choose for you where the address should show. But you should know, uh, you should choose where you want because most of the placement are not good. So you choose manual. Normally, once you are running an advert that direct to WhatsApp, uh, don't choose audience network because audience network is going to send people outside Facebook and people outside Facebook are not likely to WhatsApp you when it is on the Facebook platform, you will get a higher number of people WhatsApping you. Messenger to people on Messenger are not, they are likely to rather send you a Messenger message and not a WhatsApp. So I will just take that one. In fact, if you, even once you select WhatsApp, Facebook will not even allow you to select the Messenger option. Okay, so you go down and get to the feeds. And the feeds, the placement, we have the feed, we have stories. And let me show you, when we talk about placement, we are talking about where people see the advert. I'm in my Facebook feed now. So... This is an advert showing in the feed. When you go down um, further, you will see this is um, I want to show you all adverts you can see in the feed. Um, you go far, you see most of them. Because I'm 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 doing it on a phone. I have not seen a lot of advert, but but that is because a lot of advertisers choose mobile because most people don't use um they they they, they use Facebook on a, a phone and not on a computer. But if it is on a mobile phone, you will see more advert. You will see more advert when you are using a phone, you are using, uh, uh, what do you call it, Facebook on a smartphone, you see more advert, but on a computer, you will see less. But I just wanted to show you any advert that you see on the Facebook feed like this. It means that the person selected the feed and that is why you are seeing it on the Facebook feed. If you open on a computer, you see more advert. Sorry, if you open on a smartphone and you are using the Facebook app, you will see more advert that are going to show on the feed you see a lot of sponsored adverts in the facebook feed okay so that's the feed you can also come to we also have the video feed so when you come to the video option and then you are scrolling up and down you see a lot of advert and all those advert that you see in the video feed is what we call uh, all those advert you see under the video button it's what we call or facebook watch it's what we call facebook video feed then we have the marketplace. This is the marketplace. And it, some of them you are seeing here are sponsored advert, but you may not detect. But that is under the Facebook marketplace. Then we also have the reels. Sometimes you can be watching, uh, this is stories. So let's look at the stories first before the reels. 
you can be on the Facebook stories and you see a sponsored advert, especially if you are on the phone. Then you come to the rails. When you are on the rails, you may also see um you may also see adverts here. You may see adverts here. Okay. Now, um, so let's go back to the placement on Facebook. The most important placement are the Facebook feed, Facebook and Instagram feed. Um, the stories and reels, where a lot of people are spending more time there now. Uh, we have the in-stream ads for videos and reels. We have search results. So you select all these. Then um, click next. Then you come to the ads, the ad level. So this was the campaign level. We have the ad set level, then we have the ad level. So every advert has three major steps. So we have done the first, the ad, the ad, the campaign, the campaign level, you don't have much work. The ad set level is where you choose your audience, you choose the uh, messaging app, you choose the budget for the advert, you choose your placement. Under the ad level, you choose the pictures or the videos you want to use for the advert. Now, there are two different ad, uh, setups. We have the create ad method and we have the use existing post method. The difference between them is that for the use existing post, that means that you should use a post you have already posted on Facebook. That is the use existing post. So for example, when I click on use existing post, I can go to Facebook and select something, a post I have already posted on Facebook. So for example, if I have more pictures that I have posted for any, let's say I posted something earlier on and I want to use it as an advert. For example, this one, um, I just posted something I said five days ago. So if I want to select that post, I can use it. And for the post, it could have many pictures. It could have many pictures or it could have, it could be one picture. If it is a video, it must be one video. But if it is pictures, it can be as many as you want it. it. Can be as many as you want it. So you go to your page and you make sure that you select the right post that you want to post. Then after you select it, so let's see what I am selecting is this one. Okay, you can see that um, the video I selected is showing. This particular one doesn't actually have a text on it, but normally. I will advise that whatever video you are selecting, there should at least be a text on it. Okay. So you, you put the description. The, in fact, this is a trial. So I didn't write much, but you should take time to write in detail and describe. For example, this is a Facebook and Instagram advertising training. So I can say Facebook and Instagram ads training, how to run advert on Facebook and make more sales online and all that. So in order to, to post something, if you know, want to know how to post on that particular page or on your page, you can just switch to your page like what you're seeing here. I'm switching there. So after you switch to your page, you will click on the photo or video and you will just go and select all those pictures you want to use. Then you post it. So if you are selecting 10, 20, 30, 40 pictures, you post it, then you add a write-up to the description of those, that is the description of those pictures. Then after that, you follow the next steps and then you post it. When you select, you can click on post and you'll be able to post it, okay? Now, after you post it, when you come back to the ad manager, you can select that particular post. So when you want to change a post, you click on change post and you select it. Now. The advantage of using a post is that if you have more pictures than 10, whether you have 10, 20, 30, 40, or 100, uh, sorry, 80 pictures, you can use. The limit for the post is 80 pictures, and you can post all of them. Okay, so that is the advantage of using a post. And that one too is simpler for even an average person to be able to use, okay? That is how to use the post method, okay? Now, um if you want to rather use the other method which is let me go back and show you the other method that you can use instead of using the existing post you can click on create new ad so the create new ad it further divide into two major methods we have the single image of video and the carousel if you want a single image of video 
you will come and click on add so let's say you are using one picture so you click on add image and you select that image then you click on done you can allow all optimizations so that facebook there are some devices that the appearance will not be the same as others and so facebook will adjust it to make sure that it shows very nicely for you then you come to your primary text and write something that will rather actually describe what you're selling so this one for example was something about website i said ever wanted to learn how to promote your website so no that's not the one i want to use so let me see whether i can get another um text option um okay so let us help you um no that's not what i see see new previous options um okay so i will use if i'm using the website one oh, oh let me see this one okay so let me use this one this one is about facebook and instagram okay this is about facebook and instagram so i'm coming to delete it and paste the one i want okay so you can take time to write something that relates to uh what you want to use for the advert so for example what you can see here i wrote you may be struggling hard to make sales but still not achieving your monthly sales target the major reason why this happens is because so you take time to write in detail everything you want to say about what is in the flyer or the poster and after you are done you make sure you also add your contact details there and then you come here under the chat with us option a chat with us um let's see something okay okay so when you check the preview this is how it will show on the various platforms this is the facebook feed this is the um marketplace instagram facebook video feed and all that so you look for the you just make sure that you write the description in detail and then you write your headline so my headline for example i want to write call and then i'll put a number there so you can put whatever number there you want to put there that when people come it is supposed to show here and they can see in fact it's like my description is a bit longer but um what is supposed to show here is supposed to actually show the image and the text but just a, 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 an introduction of that text not all of it because normally they will have to click see more before it will open and they will see the entire description or primary text okay so i'm just refreshing it so that we can see very good um it's because i'm scrolling it down but let me just refresh it again okay so this is how the primary text is let me just readjust it and let's see whether um let me just come here this one could be because i have put the enhancements on so let me leave it to for it to appear the way it's supposed to be okay let me i'm going to re-add my image because the appearance is not the way it's supposed to be so i'm re-adding the image okay okay so good so you are supposed to have something similar to this you have this is how it will show in video feeds 
on the facebook feed itself it is supposed the whatsapp button is supposed to show here and that is what i have been checking all along but everything is perfect when we publish the advert you will see how it is supposed it will it will, it will actually show then let me publish and you see good so this is what i was talking about um let me see something okay i get what's happening it's like the wrong primary text was selected um okay good so i'm republishing it good so the appearance is now perfect it's now correctly the way it's supposed to be so as you can see you can see that the description is showing then they can click on see more to see the rest you can see sponsored this is how the preview will appear on facebook the number i kept is here and they can click to whatsapp this is exactly how it should be done now as i told you earlier on we have many ways of setting it we have the single image of video if we wanted to just do a video we could come here and click on edit and then we delete it and then when we delete it for example let me delete and you see how exactly it is when i'm adding i'll be asked to add a video okay good so it has now come so i can add the video so after adding the video i'm clicking on edit to add a thumbnail so the thumbnail is a image that will cover the video so i'm coming to manual and i'll just upload the image i want so let's say i'm using this one so as you can see this is what is going to show because i deleted the one i did earlier on that is why these problems are arising and so let me publish it if i publish it it's likely to disappear good so as you can see the problem that was showing has disappeared okay now uh the headline the headline i spoke of earlier on whatever is showing on the headline is what is supposed to be below here it may appear differently on different devices but that is how it's supposed to be now let's look at the carousel the carousel is the second option where if we have more pictures or more videos or want to combine pictures and videos we can do it here so the carousel let's say i want to choose at least some two pictures and i want to add a video so first of all let's say i want to add a video so i'll just come here and select the video so i've added a video let's say i want to add an image i'm adding this one yeah i can add more up to 10. okay so let's say i want to add this one but make sure that all the images you are using for the carousel are well designed they should be 1080 by 1080 pixels or a square okay so as you can see they are there if i want to edit each of them and add a thumbnail i can just come here click on edit and then change the thumbnail just like i did earlier now so when that is done you can come and also add your headline and add your description so for example let's see the headline i want to still add a number i am just adding a number but it's not mandatory that it should be a number so let's say i'm adding this number and i'm adding the price below it to each of the products i have so for example as i have done as you can see the number i put i kept is there the price is also showing if i want to label for this particular um image i will just scroll down and go to the image and edit it if i want the number to apply to all of them i'll just come here and click on apply to all cards it will apply the headline to whatever i kept there for the headline if i want also want to apply to all and i click on apply it is also going to be there so as you can see the number and the headline are all showing 
uh, the number on the headline and the description are all showing. So this is the one that we call the description. Where is it? Let me show you. The one below the headline is the description. So this is the headline. This is the description. And this is the primary text. So when you are done, you publish. And if you also remember to put your primary text. And if you want to adjust their positions, you can just come and drag them and reposition them. If you want to drag them and reposition the way they should appear in the order that you have arranged them. You can do that. Okay. So this is exactly how you need to follow in order to set up an advert using the ad manager, a WhatsApp advert or whatsoever you want to um, run. Now, lastly, before I end this video, you have to come to your page. There are some people who may want to boost directly from the page. So that one, um, even this one, you can do it on the phone. Okay. So you will come and then you click on boost post after posting and adding whatever you want to add to it. You come and click on boost post. And then let me just go down to the image I was using earlier on. Let's see whether I can get it. Okay, so this is it. So you can you can post it, add the text you want, click on boost post, it will come. Then you will be asked which particular button you want. You can select the WhatsApp, remove the messenger and Instagram. Then you select the audience, the audience that you want. I already have an audience, so I don't need to click set new audience. So um I will just in fact. It depends on the advertising account you are using. I'm changing it. I was using this advertising account. So when I come, I'll just select the audience I was using um, earlier on. Okay. So let me use this one. So you scroll down and select the budget. So for here, you the budget could be, um, for example, you are seeing um 14 dollars this is for seven days and that is two dollars a day this one is total budget not daily budget you don't have the option to choose daily budget when you are using when you are boosting it directly on the page so for example if i want to do five dollars a day for seven days it should be 35 dollars so here uh i'll put 35 dollars here okay then i'll scroll down when i'm done with everything and i'm sure everything is done i'll just click on boost post now and it is done. Okay. So now, this is how to do it if you're boosting it directly on the page. That is what I've just showed you. You can also do this using your phone app. If you have any problem, you can leave your comments in the comment section. You can also follow the WhatsApp link in the WhatsApp, uh, in the description of this video to WhatsApp us. Okay. We are always ready to help you correct your problems and the problems you may be facing and so that at the end of the day you can really advertise make more sales online and then uh, upgrade your digital marketing skills thank you for watching remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell for more other powerful videos so when you publish your video your advert will be in review for 48 hours if you have the meta ads manager app you can use it to check how the advert is performing and if you don't have that app, you can download it. If you also want to check out the advert is performing, you can still come back here on the ad manager. When you submit the advert, it will show here it is in review. And after it is published, uh, after it is approved, it will change to active. Yeah, it will change to active. This particular one like this, as you can see, some of my advert have turned them off recently because I'm currently, uh, I don't need them to run now. That's why I put some of them off. But if you follow it, you'll be able to get everything right. If you have any more, as I said, leave in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.